County Meath is a county in Ireland. It is in the province of Leinster and is part of the Mid-East region. It is named after the historic Kingdom of Meath. Meath County Council is the local authority for the county. The population of the county is 184,135 according to the 2011 census. Geography and political subdivisions, the county is drained by the River Boyne. Meth is the 14th largest of Ireland a Euro 1 registered trademark as 32 counties in area and 9th largest in terms of population. It is the second largest of Leinster a Euro 1 registered trademark as 12 counties in size and 3rd largest in terms of population. The county town is Narvan, where the county hall and government are located, although Trim, the former county town, has historical significance and remains a sitting place of the circuit court. County Meth also has the only two Gaiate Act areas in the province of Leinster, at Rati H. Ken and Belgib. Equals Baronies equals, there are 18 historic baronies in the county. They include the baronies of Morgulian and Ratorth. While baronies continue to be officially defined units, they are no longer used for many administrative purposes. Their official status is illustrated by placer names orders made since 2003, where official Irish names of baronies are listed under administrative units. Equals local government and politics equals. There are 40 elected members of Meath County Council. Fine Gael hold 13 seats, Fianna Far Eel hold 10, Sinn Far Copyright in hold 8, and there are 9 independents. There are two Dáil constituencies, Meath West and Meath East. Before, there was only one constituency. Fianna Fáil has held three seats out of five in the Meth constituency since 1987, Fine Gael has won the other two seats at each in four of the five general elections in that period, with the exception of 1992, when it lost a seat to the Labour Party. The two current constituencies are within the borders of the county. The constituencies also include part of the neighbouring county of West Meth. Together they return six deputies to Dáil Apermel Irian. Part of the county along the Irish Sea coast, known as East Meth which includes Juliantown and Laytown Bettistown Mornington are part of the Louth constituency for general elections. Fianna Far Eel currently hold no seats, Fine Gael have two in each constituency, Labour has one in the East constituency and Sinn Far Copyright and have one in the West constituency. History the county is colloquially known by the nickname the Royal County due to its history as the seat of the High King of Ireland. It formed from the eastern part of the former Kingdom of Maid but now forms part of the province of Leinster. Historically, the kingdom and its successor territory the Lordship of Meath, included all of counties Meath, Fingal and West Meath as well as parts of counties Cavan, Longford, Louth, Offaly and Kildare. The seat of the High King of Ireland was at Tara. The archaeological complex of Brianar Bar Cubedon is 5,000 years old and includes the burial sites of Newgrange, North and Douth, in the northeast of the county. It is a UNESCO designated World Heritage Site. Places of Interest The Hill of Tara, an ancient historical site. Castles at Trim, Slane, Dunsany, Killeen. Religious ruins at Trim, Bective, Slane, Dunsany, Scrin. 2,500-year-old mound structures of disputed origin at Telltown. Telltown is home to Ireland's pre-Olympic Games, which some records date back to 1869 BCE. Bra cubed in UNESCO World Heritage Site. Love Crew, an ancient historical site. Dangan Castle, the family home of Field Marshal, the Duke of Wellington, Lord Arthur Wellesley, KG, GCB, GCH, PC, FRS. Trim contains Ireland's largest Norman castle and was the setting for many Norman Irish parliaments. Meth is also home to Kells, with its round tower and monastic past, and Ireland's only inland lighthouse, the 18th century spire of Lloyd. Demographics The population in Co. Meth has been characterized since 1861 as being in a period of significant decline. Between 1861 and 1901 the population almost halved. The population stabilized from 1901 to 1971 and there was a substantial increase between 1971 and 1981 to 95,419. 
This increase was mainly due to a baby boom locally. The population continued to increase at a constant rate, before increasing at an explosive rate between 1996 and 2002, from 109,732 to 134,005. This is due primarily to economic factors, with the return of residents to live in the county, and also an echo effect of the 70s baby boom. The census of 2011 gives a statistic of 184,135 to include a dramatic increase in inward migration in the county, much of it from neighboring Dublin, and Drogheda. This population growth has seen divergent trends emerge in recent years, with mild depopulation in the north and west of the county being more than offset by large increases in the population of the eastern and southeastern part of the county, principally due to inward migration to districts that have good proximity via road to the business parks on the western outskirts of Dublin. The accession of Poland and Lithuania to the European Union in 2004 resulted in a significant influx of workers from these countries to work in low-wage sectors, including agriculture, quarrying, construction and catering. Equals urban areas and populations equals Irish language there are 2,603 Irish language speakers in County Meath, with 1,299 native speakers in the Meath Gaeat Act. In addition, there are 1,304 attending the seven Gael Scoils outside the Gaeat Act area. The Greater Dublin area has the highest number of Irish medium schools in Ireland. Economy Good land, with a strong farming tradition, has been prominent historically for cattle, dairying, potatoes and grain. Recently production volumes have decreased due to competition for labor from other sectors of the economy. Migrant labor from Eastern Europe has helped however. Meth is Ireland's leading county producer of potatoes, and a significant producer of beef, barley, milk, wheat, and root vegetables. Quarrying and mining. Europe's largest underground lead zinc mine, Tara Mines, has operated since 1977, at a location to the west of Narvan. Current ore production from the mine is 2,600,000 tonnes of ore per year, containing over 200,000 tonnes of zinc metal. Glacial deposits of gravel exist in a band stretching from the Offaly border at Adendary, to the sea at Laytown. This is the basis of a long-running quarrying tradition. A large cement plant near Dulik is situated in this territory. An increasing proportion of meth residents commutes into Dublin, with a resulting shift to a services-based economy in the developing dormitory towns. Meat processing in Clonery, and Narvan. Historically Narvan was a manufacturing town, involved in the household goods sector. Narvan was the centre of the Irish furniture industry. Gradually this has declined as a source of employment though it has acted as a source of inspiration for other ventures producing finished products for the construction industry. Narvan was the centre of the Irish carpet-making industry, before this was lost to overseas competition. Horse breeding and training. Localised tourism in Trim, Kells, Tara and the Boyne Valley. In common with other counties with thriving agricultural and traditional local industrial sectors like Westmeath, Wexford, Kilkenny and Monaghan. Meth has few multinational investment facilities. Drogheda, Blanchardstown, Solds, and Likeslip are neighboring towns that provide employment to multinational investment facilities. Transport. Equals road equals, the M1 motorway linking Dublin and Belfast. The N2 per meter 2 motorway linking Dublin and Derry. The N3 per meter 3 motorway linking Dublin and Cavan. The N4 per meter 4 motorway linking Dublin and Sligo. Equals rail equals, Hansfield, Dunboyne and M3 Parkway have a frequent service to Dublin city centre. Laytown has a frequent commuter service. The station is located on Dublin's northern commuter line, there is a commuter train service from Enfield. Although the service is very infrequent, not many villages like Enfield have a commuter service at all. Narvin is currently served by a freight-only spur railway line from Drogheda the on the Dublin-Belfast main line, for freight traffic connecting at Drogheda. The direct rail line remains abandoned, though its path is reasonably intact, and plans are drawn up to reopen it in line with current government transport policy. However, 
This plan has now been put on hold due to the economic downturn. See also, Counties of Ireland, Lord Lieutenant of Meath, High Sheriff of Meath, Visiting Kells. References External links, Meath County Council, Meath Tourism, Meath Event Guide, County Meath History Geography Map Guide, Guy Tact Comprehensive Language Study 2007